Good to go. Before the start of the match, uh, the MC was asking the crowd for roars of approval as to who would win. And I've got to say, Roger, about 10 to 1 in favour of volume. Yeah, it's not unusual, is it? I think they just transport them. <laughs> the stadium from Basel around the world, a bit like you 2 did in the day when they had the 360 tour. They just took the stadium and they just, the stage and just took it with them. I mean, everywhere he plays, it's like playing at home. Important shots tonight, I think, at forehand. Uh, we saw it in the early stages of the tournament. Uh, it was ropey, I think it's fair to say. Definitely has improved a lot in his last three matches. Important is that pattern of play going to be for Roger the seven volley tonight? It's going to be important, but the most important thing about it is to do it sparingly. You can't keep coming in, serving a volley to stand, even though he blocks it. He actually has really good peripheral vision and, and sees you coming, and he can knife it when he knows it's potentially going to happen at your feet. Interesting, he went to the forehand early on, certainly since Magnus has been at the helm, he served more into the backhand of Roger. They've been a good team, haven't they? Magnus. Stan. It's important to understand your charge. And we had a close practice today. Brinker, nobody allowed to come and watch, and uh, I'm sure they were working on certain things. Interesting again, he's gone three times straight to the Federer forehand. Federer has ever relaxed. A few thousand people around the court. Pretty impressive service game. Serve plus one, such an important game plan as far as the best players are concerned strike tennis both these guys did very well oh, the conditions tonight mark being cool does that favour one player over the other or not really? I don't think so. I mean, it may just stay a touch lower for the, the slice that Roger obviously uses uh, a fair bit, but I think that's going to be important for Stan if he continues to play with that mindset off the second serve. If he's going to look to stand up and drive it from there. Good team. Seven volley again it was Federer. How 
good has that shot been throughout the course of his career? It's never been one of the biggest serves, but the most accurate. It has to be pretty close. Certainly when you look back at some of the big moments, he's had to navigate his way through. That's a key shot for Stan tonight. 43. Inside out forehand. Federer can certainly start bossing points, but to change the direction of the rally, he's got to take it up the line. He does do it well. on that for Federer. to use little steps in tennis. Just watch that lunge. Big step, covered a lot of ground he needed to. great defense that little chip back end is again something that he will employ a number of times tonight just to uh, neutralize a good position that Stan took in the rally differences between the two tonight that's a it's just a question of whether Roger can make that kind of play often enough because he's more capable of it he's more natural in doing it and getting therefore Stan on the run and once again that Federer flick off his toes Love for the timing the hand -eye coordination required it's yes. right up there, and it makes it look so easy. And it's brought him three break points. Punch of his is as good as anyone's on tour. Not out of the woods yet. So he's not scared to go for it, is he? I think he had to. Mm -hmm. Rogers returned great this game, even off first serves, driving it back. He knew what was coming, and he had to do something to stop it. Oh, I thought that was a little long. 
Better has taken a good hard look at it. Gives it the nod of approval. Important that second ace proved to be. Interesting game here from Stan. Started off serving every ball to Juice. Rogers' forehand in the opening service game, and pretty much every single one in this game has gone to the backhand side. He's he's definitely lining Federer up for a, a bit of confusion towards the bigger moments of the set when he has to get himself out of trouble potentially again. Through the ball is so good. Looks like the ball stays on his racket for a split second longer. Good smart serve. He knows 90% of those are going to come back blocked. A little slower, more time on the ball. camera angle there again very instructive for those of you that are trying to play this game how often they went up the middle of the court not allowing each other an angle when it wasn't on their terms just biding their time Stan try to make his move couldn't find the target Federer returns better off his forehand or backhand side mock I don't think there's a big difference, to be honest. He's going to block a lot more, but he can block off the forehand as well. That's another big second serve <laughs> from Stan. I think it's one of his greatest assets, but of course I think it can also be one of the reasons why he's a little inconsistent. He's always going for his shots. It doesn't matter what the situation is. I think that's why he's beaten... Uh, the two best players in the world when it came to winning his first two majors you have to have that mindset of going out there to win rather than hoping to be opponent to make errors yeah you've got to you've got to create some doubt in your opponent's mind i mean he at times will throw in differentials on his second serve between his average of sort of 98 and then you know throwing a couple at 115 as well you know you don't know what's going to come in from stan's racket it's important to do that Is Stan very? He's hitting the ball well, and I think nice little mental momentum getting out of that last service game. seen third opponent that is in the majority of matches when they're this tight momentum oh! always nice when it's playing with you yes it's cheap at love 30 <laughs> Let's 
15 for the moment. Saw a fair bit of that in his opening two rounds. Shanks with the forehand. That shank has given Stan his first break point. Stan has quite big grip changes on his return. <laughs> That's why he likes to block, mm -hmm. you know, predominantly 90% of the time. And you can see why, again, why Roger went out there. He, he tried, though, Stan, to actually hit that return. But it comes off very flat when he does that. that he's been the best of throughout the course of his career, Mark, is defending that second serve. Yeah, him and Rafa, career best of all time at 57%. Oops. If Stan loses this game, he's going to be a little disappointed that he didn't do a bit more on the second break point. It was passive. guy that can uh, just ramp it off, off off both sides and also create big angles as well. Angus Norman doing a wonderful job with that forehand when he came on board as well, made it far more consistent, added a few miles per hour on it as well. See again there, he just can't get his hand quickly enough there to be able to drive it. He can block it, but he's not wanting to block it because he's trying to put the pressure on Roger. Test so far. Again, a huge improvement with Stan under Magnus Norman's tutelage was his serve. They shifted his shoulders a little bit, and he's got a little more disguise on it when you look at the numbers, and and also Whoa. as an added benefit, the accuracy went up considerably since the Swede t came on board. So. It's been a huge part of why he's won those slams. I wouldn't say shifted the shoulders. 30 30. It's just kind of, I don't know, we talked a little bit at the French Open about it kind of squared them up a little. I mean, we don't, you can get, you can get some sort of knowledge, but I don't think anyone's mm -hmm. going to give you the full detail because you wouldn't want to tell them why you've done it. You might give some in a way. Check this out. Yeah, I mean, as he hit it, you kind of felt like he got way too much height on it. But as ever, he knew more about what was going on than anybody else out on the court. of play as well wasn't a bad second serve 173 k's it came back equally as fast oh 
gap was there. He knows so he should have made that. He's done a good job of making a lot of returns off Stan's first surf, being effective against it. But, uh, not on that occasion. Or maybe take a trip into the cartoon kingdom of Hawkeye. Get a closer look at this one. That's a line licker. Third ace, close Three games on. Third service game. Federer has two challenges. Serving well, he's made 83% of his first serves. And, uh, as they always say in our sport, serve well, play well. And this battle well and truly joined after the opening six games. match where he, he definitely has a feel like he's not quite in the moment Federer and you look at him after he misses this volley he's sort of making that kind of intimation that's good defensive play by Pavrinka I tell you what that wasn't out the middle either 15 on Got a little lucky that he kept that one in the court. Fox. Ladies and gentlemen, as a courtesy to the players, please do not call out during the points. Roger's just being an offensive player, don't we? Well, it was offensive how good that movement was at 35 years of age. Unbelievable. That step again. Just go back and have a look at that. Huge jump. never looks like it because he's just so stylish on the court but this in my opinion is him grinding he's not quite feeling it yet you're right Out in Cape Town over the, the Christmas period, Mark. When you get to my age, Robbie, you keep the T-shirt on. surprising that Stan didn't hit the reverse gear there and go back he was pretty much always going to be a sitting duck at the net off the net cord oh. 
13 15. Well, how well do both these two move? Phenomenal. Yeah, often Stan doesn't get enough credit for how well he covers the court. His anticipation is standing. I so often think of the matches that he plays against Djokovic. Mark, he's normally so good at moving players around. He always seems to have so much time whenever he plays against Novak. I think body types sometimes um, lead people to misconceptions about how players move. Yep. Jack Sock's another one. His numbers are fantastic when you look at what you need to be to be a great tennis player. Yeah. 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 People immediately feel Jack because he's kind of big built. Yep. That isn't the case or he hasn't worked hard enough, but they'd be wrong. I think it's been one of the biggest improvements in his game over the last 18 months. This is movement. Strong. It's a big set of tennis for Stan because this is not Roger at his best, even in that particular rally. He's almost having to bide his time because he's not hitting it as cleanly mm -hmm. as he would have liked. That's giving Stan a little bit of time to play his type and brand of tennis, and it hasn't found a way to break. Roger. Mark, do you think this first set of tennis is more important for one player than the other? Statistically, it always proves to be. I mean, you can throw it on its head occasionally, like yep. Stan has against Novak in a couple of big finals. Uh, Novak in Grand Slam tennis has lost like five Ooh. matches when he's won the first set. Three of those have been to Stan. You know, it's, mm -hmm. it, it, it happens, but I just feel as though in this situation, Roger is just going to relax a little bit more if he gets that opening set under his belt. Yep. service action isn't it's it? yeah and you wouldn't teach it if you weren't that strong as well it's a bit like joe wilfred songa he also kind of like just uses his body not so much you know the the rotation that roger gets but boy as you say it is accurate and powerful yeah. 15 on. It's an interesting play for Stan, given the situation here. First time he's serving volleyed in a game, serving to stay in the set. Second serve placement that's uh, 
not as prevalent these days as it used to be. You feel around the time of Pat Rafter and Stefanuka, Boris Becker, so many players go body and you know, just get it in. I mean, that is just a great serve. I don't care whether it was in the 1960s or in 2017. Oh, so early. I mean, how do you defend against shot making like that? 43. You don't. Both guys holding such a tight court position there to the baseline. A little unlucky there, did Federer with the net court. Slowed things down. Five games off. Plus with the best players, you give them time on the ball, they will punish you. You can see it's spin rate. Just over three and a half thousand revs. Stands right up there with the best of them when it comes to imparting spin on the ball. You've got to be careful on the shot selection on the backhand, Marcos. Unforced errors, they're starting to mount up. Yeah, I mean, I think it's an important shot for in the backhand down the line. It's just, at the moment, not hitting it particularly well. To be fair, this is what we're seeing here is why he's 170 majors because they keep saying this isn't his best tennis, but he has a lot of different layers to protect his service games in particular that other players don't do. When one of their ground shots isn't working, they're in big trouble. No! Especially in a day and age now when you get a lot of players playing the same way. Don't have those layers as you suggest. You're talking about with Federer. to be vigilant on that particular ball and that was not a bad attempt here by Stan had to make the big grip change to try <laughs> and hook it back. Yes. I think he actually thought that he'd missed the forehand. The crowd certainly did and Roger actually for once was very quiet with his footwork off the ball. Got caught late to it. Break point. Left second. Good final four, and I wonder how intentional the one prior to that was, whether he knew Stan had planted himself on the Melbourne sign was too deep and actually ended up having a defender ball that was very short from Roger. Yeah, it worked out well, didn't it?
Federer's challenge on the call on the right space line. The ball was caught in. Oh, of course, can only challenge on a point ending shot. So if it's good, Federer will lose it. But a quick glance towards Magnus Norman. Magnus Norman, yeah. yeah. I was just double checking that. I thought it was in. My gut feel. That's it. Roger Zaza are better than mine. We both know how tough that shot is with a single hander. Such good dexterity in the wrist to pull it off. What's that? The two handers can use that top hand to create the extra spin. Take the Babrinka forehand a lot when he's trying to come into that, and you can see why. Both players starting to move that needle into the red zone, which is always a lot of fun. No way the umpire could have stepped in on this one. Almost felt like the call came a bit early. That's the only reason I had some doubt in it, but no, excellent call. It's not an easy one as well with Roger in front of you and it's skipping across the line. Half chance here for Roger. Just over a third of the serves have been unreturned so far in this match. And that was a timely freebie. face indicated that it was very close he wasn't sure which way it had gone that's wide I haven't seen Stan use that backhand down the line all that often so far this evening and that Please. miss has given Federer set points Hi, Please. thank you First one of the match for Federer. First one for either player. Yeah, well, 
Brown's got to be careful with his court position. A couple of times today, he's not been able to capitalize on shorter balls from, from Federer. And you don't hit too many winning passing shots against Federer from the banks of the Yarra. Four eyes forward again. Impressive. 14 and 19 now. You include that last one. That's a good miss in his, uh, in his world. He's been searching for that backhand to do the kind of damage we know it can, and he hasn't quite found it yet. But obviously a set under his belt and 40-15 up, he's looking to make it happen. Helped get him through against Songa. Good team, though. Not without incident that match, which is uh, always good. A little bit of argy bodgy. Yeah, a little roar, and uh, Joe went away. Yeah. That was a bit disappointing. Mm. We didn't see that match. Uh, are balling each other in the opening set. Both had words to say at the end of it. More so, words coming from Stan rather than Joe. Was, uh, rushing next door to my French colleagues, getting an update on the translation, Mark. Federer has been using that 60-degree wedge pretty effectively <laughs> so far this evening. Experiences that he's had against Novak in overturning deficits, having lost the opening set in those uh, finals in Paris and in New York, it will hold him in a decent stead here. He's not going to hit the panic button early for Vrinka. Trust yourself, isn't it? Realize that this is a marathon, it's not a sprint. You've got to win three sets, not one. about that conversation with juniors, Mark, and I know you've got two young girls who play the game. So often in junior tennis, you'll see a kid win a tight first set and then match is pretty much done thereafter. How do you get that message across to good youngsters? Not to panic. Learn from these guys. You are coaching someone. Well, hey, 
15 watch a lot of tennis and learn from the best mm -hmm. I mean I think that's one thing that is absolutely crucial yep couldn't agree with you more to learn art and that's a nice thing you don't have to be given that you can't all be given Roger's talent but you can learn to be mentally tough and handle situations in the right way. For me, one of the most important patterns of play right there, that inside-out forehand approach. Yeah. to 30 all on the Federer serve, but really making it count. The art of being a great player is m being able to deal with the frustration when you don't reach perfection because you know you can, and that is a huge part of uh, what they bring to the court every time they play. 40. Andy Rollick, who uh, got inducted into the Hall of Fame or will be inducted this summer, but came here as it was announced was somebody that said he reckons he played four or five matches a year, tops, where he actually played as well as he believed he could play. expectation isn't it that shot hasn't worked well for Stan tonight the backhand down the line usually one of his most effective no! yeah he just needs to be careful and he may be fortunate enough he was 40 low up in this game he's got enough uh, chances to win it that he's not unraveling a little mentally after that missed backhand as well because that was a little lazy with his footwork Full house at uh, Rod Laver Arena. 14,870 minutes mean, packed to the rafters. Tough to get a ticket for this one. Yeah, filled out the stadium in Perth Arena when he came for Hotman Cup. First time that he's been back there in, uh, what was it, 15 years or something? Mm -hmm. Some lovely old footage while we were there of uh, him playing mix with Merka. That's right. Well, they pretty much uh, first got together, wasn't it? And, 
And as they say, the rest is history. Oh, the way leads with the left hand. Look at the ground reaction force with the legs. Oh, that's nice. Great piece of handiwork. 30-15. Yeah, it was, Robbie. Arguably equally important was his ability to move to the ball so that he can actually produce that better handiwork. Mm -hmm. yeah, of course, they go hand in hand, don't they, Mark? You can't showcase your skills if you can't get there. That's a look that tells you he's a little unsure. It was certainly travelling. And that's why it has to be Fed's point. Point. But again, the problems that Stan's had directing his backhand purely up the line and accurately hurt him there because that was conservatively placed. Look at this, drifting into the middle. Left way too much court for Federer's forehand. That's an intelligent serve. Fitting to be. points early on in a service game put you in a lot of pressure you don't have much regular room yes. Federer with two more break points great depth control Showcasing his defensive skills once again. Stan has obliterated his racket. Furious with himself. Well, a good break by Federer and a terrific one by Stan because he breaks a racket like nobody else, but that. It's becoming a bit expensive these days with that racket company because they're just inserting clauses saying that if you break rackets, they can uh, get some money back on the uh, breakage. Oh, he's done a good job there. He's done a gonzo on that. Please. 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 Thank you. kids at home that are watching who have your rackets paid for by your parents do not do that at home <laughs> quite right oh. 
29. Yeah, that record company suggesting that they will start finding their players if they break records because they want to protect the image of their brand. Of course, a Japanese company and high ethics. Stan had a problem with that knee in his uh, last couple of matches. So he had a tight bit of tape on it. He's taken it off. He's got a bit of a problem with it now. I think that hurt a little bit more than he's uh, letting on that break over it. This is where Federer is so good. He gets the break. He's so good at holding so quickly. Well, he's also got a target to go to. He's one of the few players still stand that actually has quite a neutral grip on return. Yeah. And he's gone forehand three times on that side and won every point. Fifteen. been for 27 times already in this match. It's good numbers. Well, he's got freedom to roam so and do certain different things, try and upset Vavrinka's rhythm, but more importantly, not allow Vavrinka to get any rhythm as well. Stan. Well, we saw how good Federer was at dismantling the serve and volley tactics from Misha Zerev in the previous round. See there, stand well behind the service line trying to hit that first volley. Refusing to back up, balls on you in a flash. No time to recover if you're above Rinka. Saying just at the end of the last game when uh, Fed was serving that you know Stan has a very kind of neutral grip where he's almost kind of getting close to backhand. I mean, most players these days in the modern age will have a forehand grip. Um, used to be in our time, Robbie, you, a lot of the time you'd be with a backhand grip on the return, but he's actually almost neutral and struggles to get to that forehand side. Not only just on the return, but when he's rushed, and that's why coming into this match. Many people years. felt the conditions would favor Roger because he can rush one of Stan's great assets and make it a little bit of a liability. called not looking good stands parents behind uh, Magnus Norman in the cap and Lawrence Frank Pan in the right of Magnus Norman his agent uh, 
well wide. Set points, Federer. against Songa in the previous round. second serve in there after what happened on the opening point is not a good strategy yeah, it's uh, what we call a, a nude serve it's got nothing on it and uh, Federer making him pay Federer stands on the center service line Stan will be hoping this has got a bit of paint on it because otherwise problems are going to be very real early in this third set physically mentally and performance wise Again, he was uh, really handing the initiative to Federer with that second serve. Coach Lubacic. I'm hoping it will be indeed the case, Mark. Here before you started working with Roger, I guess you don't remember. I think before Milos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just came in straight at the. He came in a lister, didn't he? At the coaching level, there was no, uh, there was no apprenticeship. CEO. Yep. Let's. For sure. Oh. 
Okay. Federer. Federer. One game over. Yet to be broken this evening. It's Federer. Stan's had three break points. It's about yes. as good as he's been able to do. So we got uh, Dimitrov in the other semi final to Milo Robbie against Nadal. Just off the top of my head today, was thinking back when was the last time we had three single handers in the semis of a major? 98, I remember Rafter, Philippoussis, and Sampras were there. And I generally couldn't remember any others. I went back, I think the year that Albert Costa won, I thought uh, Tarecha uh, was playing in around that time as well, but I, there wasn't three in the semi then. I couldn't think of any others. It's been a while, yep. I believe. But if anyone can prove me wrong yet again, <laughs> let us know. Remember the one year we had Fernando Gonzalez going deep. So much power, you do have to guess at times. And <laughs> that time, he did a great job there for Brinker. I guess the question is, who was the odd one out? Joining them in their 2007 semi-final. for the first time in a long time on the serve of Federer. Well, well, well. It's been a while since yes. we had a look at those three break points in the opening set. Still got two cracks at it though. Finally, Bavrinka able to break down the Federer serve.
Africa leads three games to one. The ball change. They needed a little lady luck. That opening game all of a sudden feels even more important and significant, doesn't it? When Stan was a little flat, he came out, he was 15-30. Roger certainly felt as though he had his chances, but uh, Vavrinka is the one that's made the first move in this third set. Still a long way to go. He's, He's got new balls, though. He's done a good job of attacking the second serve, hasn't he? Focus, yes, Federer. thing he wants to do is just stay close even if he doesn't win this third set just stay close what he doesn't want to do is allow Vavrinka a lot of room to expand his game to really find his timing on the ground and also for Roger not to lose it but more importantly for Stan to find the timing because as we've seen before even against the greatest defenders in this era he's able to punch holes through their defense Just one break will mean he has to play somewhat conservatively. There's nothing conservative about that forehand. That's uh, the wrecking ball that he's bringing out there. Well, I don't know how much uh, Roger's uh, aware of what's going on the other side of the court, but out wide on Stan's forehand side right now, he is struggling to get back off that right leg that's got the tape on it. Tries to go up a double break. Games to one. 
And Mock, at least if you want to lose a set, you want to take something out of the other guy on the, on the other side, right? Generally, I think that, you know, from Roger's perspective, maybe just, yeah, as you say, he's, he's just lost a little bit of focus and maybe the thought of actually clawing his way back into it wasn't as appealing as starting the fourth set fresh. I'm just thinking from, from Stan's point of view as well, if he is hurting, and he's not as mobile. You know, a quick set here is great for him. It certainly feels like uh, to him that he hasn't lost a lot of energy. All of a sudden, the fourth set might be up for more of a fight. <laughs> quick hold here. And, uh, 38 back in business. Patella tendon is what's taped there. Oh. That's oh. one of the rare backhands I've seen from him. Well, that's the problem, isn't it? When you give somebody like Stan a lead like that, mm. he can go searching and he can rescue the situation with those types of shots. And suddenly, if he's hitting that he's regularly, you've got bigger problems. Three set points. Let's Tonight so far, he's had to narrow his attack because he hasn't really had that shot. Mm -hmm. He finds that that's an extra meter and a half Roger's got to cover. This fourth set becomes very important for me, Mark. Stan can get the early break. Get his nose out in front. And suddenly it becomes a dogfight. He's got a big interest in this match. 15 on No, I agree. I mean, right now, it's got everyone's interest, including Rogers, in terms of how He's going to get himself just to stay level here at the start. That backhand certainly didn't look too smart early on. Oh. And then a Good double fall. And there's a definite cause for concern in the camp. Talent saves the day. Not too many players could have hit that little half volley flick. That was coming at some serious velocity from Vavrinka's racket. Big point. Oh. Here we go again. A couple of shanks in this game, one off each wing. Break point opportunity for Vavrinka. He's made it. Game. 
And he'll be harboring ambitions of keeping that first set percentage nice and high. He's done such a good job of that in the match so far. How good is that? Even though he's running sideways, he's still got it out in front of him. So it enabled him to get the racket around the outside of the ball. This is scintillating stuff from both players. What a dig. He is struggling on that right leg, but Rogers actually not hit as many balls into that forehand side as you would expect. So good at changing the contact point. With the different looks he gives He's you. Heavy slice and the flatter and the top spinner. Federer's chance to bounce right back here. Sam Pavrinka. Big second serve, courageous. Deuce. And he converted with the forehand as well to extract the error. punished in this match for any sign of weakness. Dubin. This may be Vavrinka's turn again. from Federer and that rally was clearly evident to see Mock. Yeah, it was a great angle for us to see how the intensity and the work rate, as you say, and just finding a way to win the point. A couple of times it didn't go exactly where he wanted it to go, but 
stuck to his task and got the break back. Do get the sense that Stan actually is just struggling to make those sort of smaller steps that can get him back up the court. And again, not firing with the backhand down the line, even when he did have a bit of time. Just missing by inches here and there. And even if it's not a winner, just the fact that he can move Federer, as you say, that extra meter or two. He won't be feeling entirely secure, of course, Roger. He has lost from two sets to love up before in his career, not many times. Just the four. Some pretty illustrious names as well. Leighton Hewitt, David Nalbandian, Joe Wilford Songa, and Novak Djokovic. see what was in his mind though and it wasn't the wrong shot he was going for the lob here thinking that Stan was planted on top and it just didn't quite get the elevation but we have seen him hit a couple of miraculous ones over the years but he actually played a big one here in the match that he lost to Safin one year it turned the match didn't work out Once again, momentum is with Federer. 15. Just what the physio ordered. Nice quick game <laughs> for Vavrinka. Protect that knee, protect his serve. Well, you can just tell by the crowd that there's not that sign, that sound of inevitability that generally accompanies Federer up two sets to love or two sets to one in a match. There's a, a real sense of emotion out here that this is far from done.
32. The serves really troubled him. Ferrer has mixed it up well. It's gone in just enough to keep him honest. It's a late call. I don't think Federer has heard it, or has he? She, she was calling out, yes. Federer yeah, just call the left far side. Line, <laughs> the ball was <laughs> well, Stan obviously thinks it's in. Yeah, he's directing How was that? traffic, yeah. If he's wrong, <laughs> can, can, can Roger get his challenge back? Oh, he was absolutely right. Uh, who needs opponents when you can have a mate? <laughs> Don't ask Joe Wilfred Songa, though. Off the back end. Continue. I mean, most people have to roll this high to get that angle, not stand. Combination of pace and spin on the ball is quite unique. And I think that's what's going to make things interesting when Dot Potter comes back, Mark, because he's the other guy who's got what I call a three prong attack. Maybe not so much now, because the back end is still finding its way, but certainly in his pomp. Huge off the serve, huge off the forehand, and the backhand was a dangerous shot as well. And volleys well. Mm -hmm. Of course, for those of you who are wondering where Juan Martín del Potro was this fortnight, he's decided just to take a bit of additional time off after all his exploits tallying the last season. Please. All the wrist problems, didn't want to overplay. Logical decision here, Mark, for Juan Martin. Yeah, listen, given what he's been through, any decision he makes, I think, is, is going to be based on uh, the experiences that he's gone through. I don't think anyone's in any position to judge when and if he plays. It's a nice recovery from Stan. Tell you what. Having uh, been up the break quickly, kind of donated the break of serve at the start, then losing his one in the manner that he did. This could have got a little ugly for him, but he's knuckled down and done some good, solid work there. Nothing spectacular, nothing with the kind of uh, flamboyance that we sometimes see from the Swiss number one, but it's uh, keeping him competitive. New balls for Roger. Yeah, that's the one that's hurting him. Yep. Change of direction. Big change there, and you could see he's kind of hopping onto his right leg. Struggling with an adductor problem again yesterday in his match against Nadal. And uh, for the first time in a major, we've seen him have problems. It's 
some points are bigger than others, and that was a huge one for Vavrinka. He had the chance, he had the corridor down the line open to him, just couldn't hit it well enough. See that grip with it right on top there for Stan. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, he's used the full width of the court there. He's just trying to slow this down a bit, Roger, more than anything else. The last game was very quick on Stan serve, and he started again here with a big one-two punch. That was more a tactical Hawkeye challenge for me than an actual reality, but he thought it was out. Often you see Stan run out of ammo while he's still out here. He's still dangerous. <laughs> he's got plenty of it. as you like and always looking to attack the ball even when he's well I should say especially when he's got time on it Please. big step into the court get the body weight going forward always taking time away from his opponent strong overhead today. He was caught, wasn't he, on the down the line forehand. Rogers, you look at the stroke, but it was Rogers' movement on that forehand down the line that did everything to take away Stan's time on the ball. It turned a relatively routine Please. rally into one that he could get himself to the net on his terms. not an easy ball I know it looked like it because it was short he was in control of the rally but it was low and if you don't in this era get that ball quickly onto your opponent or away from them you are actually the one that ends up defending the situation at the net to juice Yeah. 
He's applied himself really well in this fourth set for Brinker. Maybe could have got off to a slightly better start, didn't quite hit the heights in the opening set. Roger out-toughed him mentally here, but this has been a set where Vavrinka's been the one that's hung in perfectly. for the returner when they win that first point against the server. Be fascinated to know the stat of how often someone gets broken when they lose that first point on serve mark. Oh, he's just powered through that one. That's the thing about him, it's easy power. Love the degree. Yeah. It's not an easy shot, is it? Not to beat Federer hands down from there, no. No pace, it's deep. Oh, hello! And once again, out of nowhere, Federer in all kinds of trouble on surf. Well, whereas before, I think oh, some of it was... Uh, self-induced not this time he may have missed the first point but stands had a huge forehand one of his biggest of the night and then he's seen Federer coming in here we've seen the troubles he has on the return and he's knifed that cross court brilliantly done a little forehand chip it's given him three break points Second serve. 30, 30, 30. More leg drive. And second break point goes a begging. Still got one more bite at the cherry though. That's a very nice way to start. Seven aces. It's a vital one that was. Oh, this is impressive. Three set points, Vavrinka. Where you put the ball can in practice, placed with precision. Oh, stop 
bit. Quick look at the serving numbers for Federer, Mark. Over the course of this match, a first serve percentage right around 60. It's just dropped below to 59 now. But, uh, those first serve points won, sitting at 71. Probably a little low, a little bit below his average. Stan's made some good inroads in sets three and four. And that would be why, not because he hit a clean winner, because he hasn't hit that many clean winners tonight, <laughs> apart from when Roger's been coming in, but when you don't hit your spot, that's what happens. Strongest arguments is always whenever you watched a fifth set tiebreaker and not being totally engaged. And I always feel like if, if the match goes on too long, if it starts to go to 10, 11, or you actually lose the crescendo that you, you were hoping to get to. 30 mm -hmm. Uh, the winner here will have uh, an additional day to recover on your Thursday evening. And it's been a pretty quick match, to be honest, for five sets. 14 minutes. It's not really going to have taken an awful lot out of them physically, I don't think. Obviously, the concern ahead of Sunday is that both of them have been off the court for treatment. Stan won here in 2014. It was Nadal who was struggling in that final. He pretty much went through the motions there and towards uh, the end of it, struggling in sets three and four. The last time Roger lost from two sets to love up, of course, against Novak in the semi finals of the US Open back in 2011. Don't bring that up for the Federer fans, Mark. They're spot on there. of skills from both players on occasions this evening. 15. Don't often see that. That's about the second or third time I've seen him stop on a volley rather than move through it. Still matters a lot. Well, it was a good return. To see it again to see if Federer had committed his weight down the line there. Not often I've never seen him move to a ball. Suffocating. That's exactly what that last backhand was. 
break point. holding a breath from this majority Federer Jeez. supportive crowd as he lined up for that. Please. Right, please. Well, this could be a major plot point. Outcome of this contest. game Love the was the little dousing of petrol that Federer needed on the fire it hadn't ex extinguished in the four set but it had certainly was burning a little less brightly but all of a sudden the inferno's back and for Vrinka now the one under pressure and the crowd totally engaged Me. I just wonder whether he heard his foot, feet moving back there, which is why he elected to take it out there. Because it didn't look as though he could see him because he moved after the ball was out of his hand. I was just looking down at it. Five set record here of uh, Federer when he's won the opening two sets. Actually, twice here in Australia. Once against uh, Gilles Simon, the other time against Tommy Haas. He won the opening two sets, then lost the next two before eventually getting across the finishing line. Perhaps a little bit of history here in Australia for him. It's an extravagant shot at that stage, it isn't is. it? You've got to question the decision making there. I mean, just bang it up the line and come in. I mean, it's a tough pass to make just after you've served. for Vavrinka. Two games on. Almost feels like a strategy on that, that 30 all point because he's hit 
in my opinion, quite a few more than I normally see him hit off backhand returns on the due side. Federer, you just think at 30 all, you've just dug yourself out of a service game before. I mean, even if you're not feeling great, the back will chip up the line and come in. He's so good at it. Look at him. Speak about the importance of winning that first point when returning. <laughs> Roger urging himself Good on. Well, good thing for Federer in the set is uh, three points he's been getting on serve. Almost half, which is uh, well above uh, the average for the match mark. He knew how to hit a backhand volley or two. <laughs> Every time the ball goes back into play from the baseline, yes. I'm starting to get the feeling there's only one winner now when these uh, rallies unfold. Yep, he's got a nice blend at the moment, precision and power. And Federer needs to find a first serve, you feel, to get himself out of trouble. The old faithful delivers. Nothing on it. Another return, 10 kilometers an hour faster than the surf. Rejected look there from Federer. Mm -hmm. Stay focused is the word from Magnus Norman. That is what you call a reprieve. Just an industrial size reprieve, Mark. And of all the shots, given how much time he had on it, just forgot to Thank you. give it that little extra bit of elevation.
Advantage Federer. Good hustle from Stan. Fifteen. Oh. been searching for it relentlessly that return and that time he connected with it perfectly Stan's gonna have to be careful if he has to hit a second serve there again gonna maybe have to change things up Quick things could change quickly now thank you Again, Navrinka can't find that backhand down the line. It's a chance for Federer to go a break ahead. Stan Wawrinka comes at the most inopportune moment. I mean, talk about momentum switches, Mark. You just don't know in tennis, do you? That's why you just fight to the last point. You're never quite sure. It doesn't have to be pretty, and it hasn't been at times, but it ultimately may well prove to be effective. You can't underestimate what it takes out of somebody to come from two sets and up down, particularly against Roger as well. Even if he hasn't played his best tennis at times, just the emotional investment. You've got no room for error, and you're playing with that pressure the whole time. <laughs> oh, she's going to have words with him after that. What do you think you're doing? There's no time for the flamboyance. Let's just Reese. get the job done. Not sure the language will be uh, that nice, Mark. They could hear it coming. And the finish line now well. 
Continue. Continue. is good from Stan this is a really resolute response to what's just happened as well in this game you can only control what you can at this stage two good first serves Roger has looked a little vulnerable on serve it's not over yet mm -hmm. for the Swiss number one Good serves here from Vavrinka. to serve this one out. Well, he's confounded the critics this week, hasn't he, Roger? He's been on a journey to evangelize all of us non-believers. The Federer fans always believe, but there were a lot of us that felt this was a tournament too early in the comeback. Rules don't apply to this man. That's for sure. First point under the belt. And if you're a Federer fan that can't watch, you can just listen. You're going to know who wins the point in this game. So why now? Federer has taken the scenic route, but finally he has arrived Please. at match point. Please. He's done it! Roger Federer is through to his sixth Australian Open final. It'll be Grand Slam final number 20. 